According to reports from the United Nations General Assembly, more than 95% enterprises in the world are micro, small, and medium-sized MSME and account for about 60% private sector employment. And so, in recognizing the importance of MSMEs in achieving the new global development goals, the United Nations General Assembly, with 193 member body, adopted resolution without a vote to observe MSME Day and raise public awareness of their contribution to the 2030 Agenda for SDGs. In 2017, Nigeria rectified the Trade Facilitation Agreement, TFA, making it the 107th member of the World Trade Organization to do so. The TFA contains provisions for expediting the movement, release, and clearance of goods, including goods in transit. According to 2015 study by the World Trade Organization, full implementation of the TFA would reduce members' trade costs. Experts claim that Nigeria has over 37 million micro, small, and medium enterprises MSEs within the economy. And for a formidable number such as these, the impact on the economy is adjudged as significant if rightly harnessed. That is one of the reasons why Nigeria is working around its MSMEs as in other places to boost their contributions to the GDP. And that an effective government framework and mechanisms are daily needed to harness the development potential that presents itself in this sector. On Bridges today, we shall be looking on promoting MSME's compliance to conformity assessment and standards in the Trade Facilitation Agreement for Economic Growth in the country. Our experts are in the house, and that's where we'll go. I'm Muchi Makonjola. Welcome to Bridges. From the National Productivity Center, which is so germane to growing the economy and growing all the uh, conformity assessment that we need, I have the Director General here with us, Dr. Kashim Akor. He's uh, the DG, National Productivity Center. So you're welcome on Bridges. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming. Thank you for now, we can't be talking of uh, standards and conformity without bringing in the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Shinyere Igwo here with us. She's a director from the Standard Organization of Nigeria. And Thank we you. have our Nigerian brother, I would say, because, <laughs> <laughs> because he's done so much in terms of conformity and ensuring that standards are met. Uh, I'm introduced next to me is uh, Dr. Hussein Shaukat from the UNIDO National Quality Infrastructure Program. He's the chief technical advisor for that program in Nigeria. You're welcome on Bridges. Dr. Shaukat, you want to, because you've gone round, let's start with you first. Yeah. Then we'll come home. Uh, thank you. As you briefed that there are 37 million MSMEs are in Nigeria and uh, uh, this is this is around about more than 50 percent of the total total country enterprises. Those are contributing to the GDP of Nigeria. Uh, when we see the share of the contribution of the GDP of, of, of the economy of these MSMEs, the contribution is also very good. It is 48% contribution of the Nigerian MSMEs into the economy, 48% uh, into the GDP of the economy. That is very good. But if we benchmark it, like example, if we benchmark this with the China, the China MSMEs contribution is also 68%. So Nigeria has around about, uh, around about uh, uh, you can say more than 48 percent and uh, uh, the China has 68 percent are, are around about 65 percent. That is almost matchable. If you see Nigeria and if you see the China, there is no such difference into the contribution of the GDP with respect to MSME. But when you compare the share of these MSMEs into the contribution of export of the country with the China, then you will find a large of difference in between the China and in between the MSMEs of Nigeria. The contribution 
into the export of the country in Nigeria it is 7.2 percent and the contribution of the MSMEs into the export of the China it is 70 percent mm. now you can say the 7 percent and 70 percent it means the enabling atmosphere and the harnessing atmosphere as you said in the China towards export with respect to MSMEs is more as compared to Nigeria. And when we further analyze this situation, then we come to know that the differences with respect to the quality, the differences with respect to the conformity, with respect to the standards. So there is a huge need in the China, in the in the Nigerian MSMEs to promote them towards the standards and conformity assessment structure. And with respect to this National Quality Infrastructure Project that is EU, EU funded, we provided this local structure now. The conformity assessment structure is available. Standard body is already there in the country in, in the standard organization of Nigeria. And I am hopeful that in future more and more things will come. We have developed a training center so that uh, with respect to these standards so that they may provide the sustainability with respect to standards and conformity in the country. Okay. I am hopeful uh, more things will come in the in the in the support towards the MSMEs. Okay. Yeah. So here we are. The, we, the huge number of MSMEs have not actually translated to what we expect according to the analysis that Dr. Shaukat has given. But what, what is responsible? Why are we where we are? Uh, Standards Organization of Nigeria. Let's hear from you. Well, thank you very much. Um, from the explanations um, given by the UNIDO rep here, um, there are challenges. That is why we are not where we are, where, where, why, why the SMEs are not where they should be. And um, those challenges are enormous. It it's, it's ranges from compliance to standards, you know, making sure that the procedures and processes are adhered to to get those conformity, those their, their products to the conformity of the relevant standards. By the way, what is even conformity assessment? Conformity assessment is a demonstration of a, that a product, a person, a process, or a system conforms to a specified standard, mm -hmm. relevant standards, and uh, it's uh, it entails um, inspection, it entails testing. It entails the certification itself. And you can see that these three elements are very important if these SMEs have to have their products, have access to international uh, markets, or even acceptability of their products, international standards. So what, what, international what has markets. happened? Uh, what has happened is that, well, there are challenges for them because the facilities are not really all available for them mm -hmm. at all times. Like, for instance, the, the, the testing, you know, for, for any products to have that acceptability or access into international market, it should be, they should carry out tests, laboratory analysis and tests that will indicate the performance of that product as per the, uh, the intended purpose, to also indicate the, the, the compliance of that product to that specified uh, standards. Mm -hmm. And these laboratories must be recognized internationally mm -hmm. through that, those are laboratories that are accredited to the standard, the ISO IEC standard 17025. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, we have very few of them. In, as for the governments, to have those, the only two government agencies that have such laboratory is Standards Organization of Nigeria and NAVDAC. Okay. Do the MS. MEs know that these laboratories exist for them to access what I mean they should that would upscale whatever you know they're trying to either for consumption or either for export. Yeah, we have tried several methods to inform them. You, can, you know that the, the vice president is involved in this uh, clinic, uh, MSME clinic yes. that takes place almost every month across the country. Mm -hmm. And um, are we getting results from that? Uh, sure, we are. We are because number one, as such clinics, their diagnosis, you know, we're able to diagnose their challenges, mm -hmm. and then from there we take up. Is it that there, there are no standards for them to? work with you know to produce to and so they are not able to have their products certified to any relevant standard or that they're having challenges with obtaining those certification maybe the laboratory test and what have we done when as we're talking about challenges is it affordability or is affordability okay. sometimes affordability and even the awareness so we use such medium as such fora to 
communicate to them the availability of such. And we have also put things in place. Maybe we'll talk about that today. To help them, okay. to make them come for it. We have tried to subsidize the costs. We've done that. We've, like for the testing, we've also subsidized we've almost 25%. And for the standards, for the MSME, we have very special passion for them. And what have we done? Standards has been reduced. The cost of standards has been reduced to about 25% for them. Mm -hmm. So that makes it affordable for them to get and then the testing they can do mm -hmm. and, we, and we have also we have certain training in place like workshops where we try to tell them and when you do, do when, i'll come back to the workshop now okay. because when we um and i'll also take up uh dr shaukat on that as well when we're talking of workshops to help people in the yeah. msme mm -hmm. uh, uh circle mm -hmm. you you know that um some of them are, don't have all the technicalities yes. uh, know how so we'll come to how we you're breaking that, that down yes. but let's go now to the director general of uh, npc yeah. productivity and quality yeah that's what you have been singing about and talking about how does this dovetail into MSME growing in Nigeria? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, like you know, uh, productivity has to do with efficient and effective utilization of resources. When there's an effective and efficient utilization of resources, what you see is a flawless, error-free product. So that there's a symbiotic relationship between productivity and quality because productivity drives quality. So our concern at the National Productivity Center is to ensure that we do not dwell on measuring standards. Ours is on building the capacity. Glo globally, the economy is becoming a knowledge economy. Mm -hmm. Economy driven by the capacity of the people. Mm -hmm. So at the National Productivity Center, we are more concerned on how you can add value to the little that is on ground. We are not uh, encouraging uh, maximum using of, your, uh, of, of resources, but we are encouraging how you can effectively manage the little you have mm. to ensure that you come up with better results. Mm. So at the National Productivity Center, we ensure that a program was designed in line with what operates in Japan and other Asian countries, we call it Productivity and Quality Improvement Program. Mm -hmm. And this is designed purely for the SMEs. So this is a program, it's, a, it's an interventionist program, whereby we go to organization SME, we try to identify their productivity problem, and we provide solutions. Mm -hmm. So the program is a whole package, a comprehensive package mm -hmm. that uh, involves... How do you identify the people you go to? The cluster? Do you cluster them going to them or you just go to them as per what they produce? No, no, no. Mo mo most of the time we go through the APES organizations. They are recommended to us by mm -hmm. our APES organization. Mm -hmm. And again, you know we have this, our National Productivity Award Scheme. Mm -hmm. So most of our beneficiaries who are SMEs, mm -hmm. we go to them to enhance their quality and to ensure that they don't go below the standard that uh, made them end the award in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the quality, Productivity and Quality Award Scheme is a comprehensive package, like I was t t trying to say, whereby there's organizational diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Then we do what we call a behavioral modification mm -hmm. for attitudinal changes to ensure that you have this attitude of the mind that see continuous improvement mm -hmm. in whatever you do. Mm -hmm. There is what we call Kaizen. It's a, a Japanese uh, productivity technique that's continuous improvement. So we want to instill in the SMEs the spirit of continuous improvement, mm -hmm. no matter how good your, you product, uh, your, your product is. So we want to bring you to a stage so that by the time you now go to the measurement uh, aspect where Sun, NAPDAC and other has to come in, already your product is good. Mm -hmm. So the National Productivity Center is so concerned about building the capacity of, of the people, capacity of the system, capacity of the processes. And that is why with the support uh, for UNIDO, we've been able to establish a National Productivity and Quality Training Center. Fantastic. And the essence of uh, the National Productivity and Quality uh, Training Center is to ensure that most of our SMEs, not just SME, most of our entrepreneurs mm -hmm. are trained such that they can compete 
internationally, mm -hmm. globally, mm -hmm. with all, others all, all over the world. Well, you did mm -hmm. mention that yes. um, yeah, um, being an enterprise yes. demands for knowledge yes. and some measure, you know, so, some measure of expertise. Mm -hmm. Now, how are we able to do this, knowing that some, particularly people who reside at the lower level, yes. at the rural areas, how can they buy into this process of uh, conformity assessment and uh, being productive so that their trade or their market or whatever they are producing can meet international standards. How are you doing that? Any of you can take it up. <laughs> well, for us, uh, let me take that up. Mm -hmm. uh, for Standards Organization of Nigeria, you know, our mandate is to develop standards for, for use. And um, it's not just about developing standards, that we also go further to break down, because standards are technical documents. Mm -hmm. So we go further to develop what we call the code of practice for each of these products. And then th that code of practice is a standard, but is a, a recommended uh, guide on how to go about your activity to reach the expected end that will be of quality. And so those code, code of practice, and another thing we have further done is to break them down into pictorials, like you said. The SMEs are basically people down there, and so we needed to break the standard down. So we use pictures, what we call pictorial materials, and we work with them according to their sectorial groupings. That is how we do it. So you we cluster them. Yeah, we cluster them. And then we go tell them the do's and the don'ts on the activities mm -hmm. and what they will need to do to get them to the expected mm -hmm. end of their products and the quality. And so that's what we have done. Secondly, also, we, we are very involved in this um, uh, the, 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 the national MSME clinic activities. We have uh, we established a very vibrant MSME desk. And then what we do is that at such meetings, we, play, we encourage them. Because sometimes they, have, they, they, have, they either have fears of maybe it's going to be expensive to be involved in this certification mm -hmm. or conformity assessment activities, or that they, 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 it's going to be cumbersome for them. So at such clinics, we try to encourage them, we try to simplify things for them. And then, and as, as luckily as we may have it, we have state offices across the country. So wherever such things are held, the state offices, those whichever people we have gathered together, we hand them over to the state office because they are more together with them at the grassroots. Can and so they, they, now, they now help them to get to that. And we have what we call the MANCAP, the Mandatory Conformity Assessment Program, which is basically for conformity, is a conformity assessment program for locally produced products mm -hmm. in Nigeria. And we, you know, we, we're using the standard to make sure that those products of those, our MSME, comply to that. So we, we, at the grassroots, the state offices carry out inspections. I told you, conformity assessment in, in involves inspection, testing, and then the certification mm -hmm. itself. So the state offices carry out these inspections. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we try to encourage them. We have highly and, and subsidized uh, the activity. Yes, and there are human because, resources in terms of, yeah, yes. Yes, we, we have, have capacity. At the state, yes, yeah, we have the state capacity, level, yes, yeah. at the state level. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you. Uh, Dr. Shaukat, uh, within the context of the National Quality Infrastructure Program, which basically is to improve um, quality that can make trade competitive for Nigerians, w what are the gaps that we really must build a bridge today before mm -hmm. we go? What we are the to. gaps there that MSMEs must quickly uh, 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 build a bridge to fill that gap so that their goods can conform and also can meet global best practice? Thank you. Very good question, this is. Uh, the recently study done by the UK government, they analyzed that uh, the quality infrastructure program of the UK, for the UK, is contributing around about 11 billion pound annually to the UK economy. Okay. Now, you can see the impact of the quality infrastructure program into the UK economy and this quality infrastructure program is now here in Nigeria. There were the missing links. For example, the standard organization of Nigeria is already there. The three pillars were mandatory and are mandatory for the quality infrastructure. The one pillar in shape of standard organization of Nigeria was there. But the other pillar is about National Metrology Institute. Mm -hmm. That was not available. Through this program, we have developed the National Metrology Institute because this is a, the SON provides the standards with respect to quality, 
metrology is providing the standards with respect to quantity. Okay. Now, who will basically verify that this quality is okay and this quantity is okay? That is conformity assessment body. So, we produce the local conformity assessment bodies and to give the basically recognition, global recognition to conformity assessment bodies, the accreditation that is the third pillar of the country for the quality infrastructure mm. that was missing mm. and we produce basically Nigerian national accreditation services. So, now in the basic uh, in Nigeria the three pillars are available. SON in term of standard is available, mm. National Metrology Institute is available, the accreditation body is available and basically the interaction, the bridges of this standard body, the bridges of this accreditation body and the bridges of the metrology body, that is basically conformity assessment body, mm -hmm. that is a product of conformity assessment mm -hmm. body. And we have that And going. these now conformity assessment bodies are also available in the country. Mm -hmm. And this conformity assessment bodies, world market is more than 100 billion dollar annually about the conformity assessment bodies. In Nigeria, when we calculated roughly through our business plan, round about more than 60 billion Naira market is available for this conformity assessment bodies. To strengthen, because this is a national quality infrastructure program, to strengthen these and these three pillars and to basically give the sustainability of these three pillars, we have developed the 10 training center in the country. And out of these 10 training center, one of the training center is into MSME's association, that is NASME. Mm -hmm. One training center is there, one training center is in SON, another training center is in at National Productivity Center. The training center is also available in NASME, NASIMA, into the NECA. So the country is now filled with these training center mm -hmm. and we are hopeful even when the prom is over these training centers will continue this journey and this bridge will remain available <laughs> in shape of bridges. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I say so too. <laughs> yes, so I can see that uh, I can get signals that our time is far spent. But okay. standards organization of Nigeria moving forward now, what do we expect? What do you want the MSMEs, you know, to contribute themselves so that we can actually fall in line with the dream of, I'm sure, not just the administration, but of course every Nigerian, so that people that belong to the uh, organized private sector can actually start contributing to the economy of the country? Well, first, naturally, they should try and make efforts to ensure that their products or services meet the specified standards. So they should try and um, pick up, uptake the standards and implement them. We want to tell them, assure them that they can easily go to any of our state, our state offices and they will be received because the present management of SON has so much passion for the MSME. So they should not be afraid. They should come. We are here to assist them. Secondly, they should try as much as possible not to circumvent processes that are in place. Mm -hmm. yes. All the necessary approvals that are on ground, they should make sure that they, they comply and with the uh, National the Pro Productivity Center. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we will uh, continue to urge... Uh, all our manufacturers, entrepreneurs, SME, to always Im have the mindset for continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. they, must cons uh, they must always think of improving on what they do, no matter how it could it may look. At the National Productivity Center, we have internationally trained consultants that are ready to help them on certify productivity improvement techniques and tools. And then uh, we have uh, state offices, and apart from that, in the states where we are the local government, we have committees that can speak the language of the people. Mm -hmm. So we are all over the country uh, preaching the uh, message of productivity, uh, of attitude of the mind that seek continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. So my message to all SME is that they should always develop and continue with that mindset. Yes. Thank and uh, finally, he made it happen in Pakistan. So, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, so we're glad to have you in Nigeria mm -hmm. too. Now, what will be your message out there to MSMEs as we come to a conclusion on this program? Yeah, basically, uh, as the DG has said, it mm -hmm. is a base quality is basically mm -hmm. is journey. It is not a destination. Yeah. So they have to basically drive the MSMEs towards the quality 
and towards the definitely productivity as well mm. because these are the basically tools through which you can remain competitive and you can become more and more competitive mm -hmm. and if the competitiveness is there and the conformity assessments are there standard is there metrology is mm -hmm. there then their pr product would be accepted throughout the world mm -hmm. Well, well, that's it, and I, and I think uh, on that note, we can actually conclude on, on this very important topic, yeah, especially as Nigeria looks forward to diversifying the economy and ensuring that members of the micro, medium, and small-scale industries also have their own input in it. And that way, we can quickly grow the economy. Mm -hmm. I'm enthusiastic about this. It has worked in other countries, and it can work in Nigeria. Is that an agreement here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, I want yeah. to thank you so much thank for coming you. on Bridges. Thank you all for also being part of this edition of the program.